Hello, I'm Dave Goldberg, faculty member at the University of Illinois and co-director of the Illinois Foundry for Innovation and Engineering Education. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about the problem of change in engineering education and what we're doing here at the University of Illinois to promote effective and principled change. There's lots of good thinking and doing in engineering education about how to, how to promote effective change. Um, the National Academy of Engineering has written their series of 2020 reports and various people have chimed in uh, with, with good proposals and, and, and good works. Yet, the Academy has been slow to respond and we need to examine why that is and, and question uh, why it is that we're not changing more quickly. So I want to talk a little bit about the institutional problem of change as an academic NIMBY problem or not in my backyard problem. Talk about how it is that we can promote effective change and then talk about iFoundry, our plan for changing engineering education here at the University of Illinois. Now a NIMBY problem is a not in my backyard problem and it's oftentimes uh, iconically signified by a nuclear power plant. Everyone needs the electric power, but they don't want that power plant in their backyard. The problem of change in engineering education is similar in that people want change in engineering education, but they don't want to change their course, or they don't want to change the things that they're interested in. And so when it comes time to vote on, on curriculum changes in our departments, what happens is even though there's general sentiment for change, people form together in coalitions through the political process of log rolling and, there, and thereby change is thwarted. And so even though the agreement for change might be widespread, at the end of the day the political processes involve thwart change and we need to develop a systems approach to overcoming these difficulties. So how is it that we can overcome these difficulties? Well, we really have two problems. We need a locus for change. We need a place where change is the mission of, of a portion of our institution. And yet we still need to respect faculty governance through normal academic processes. So how can we do that? Well, this suggests three elements of a solution. The first thing we need is a pilot unit. Industry uses pilot units all the time, but they're less often used in universities. We need to have federalist governance where things are not dominated from the center, where the individual rights, if you will, of the states are respected. Uh, and then ultimately, though, we need to respect the faculty votes back in the home departments um, before curriculum changes are made uh, permanent. So can we take these problems and principles and put them together to establish a means of promoting effective change? And that's what we're doing here at the University of Illinois in iFoundry, or the Illinois Foundry for Innovation and Engineering Education. In particular, there are six elements to iFoundry. The first is to create a pilot unit or a curriculum incubator that is a collaborative interdepartmental pilot unit that, that brings together different um, um, people from different departments on a volunteer basis. We want enthusiastic participation from faculty and student volunteers to try changes in the curricula. And then we want to use the existing authority that the dean has to override curriculum in the case of individual faculty member, uh, individual uh, students curriculum in order for them to try the curriculum changes and yet get credit back in their home department and degrees, ABET accredited degrees back in their home departments. At the end of the day though, once changes are made permanent, we need to go through the regular voting processes and yet with the piloting of these changes and the collecting of data and proper assessment, we'll be able to go back and, and get regular votes in those departments with a higher probability of, of acceptance of, of effective changes. At a place like the University of Illinois, it's not sufficient for us to do pilot changes though. We need to be continually concerned about scalability. It's one thing to, to promote a, an effective curriculum when, when you're trying to educate a small number of students, but when you have the numbers of undergraduate students that we have at a large state school like Illinois, you have to be concerned about scalability from the get-go. And then finally, we want to do this out in the open and we want to join hands 
with our colleagues at other schools so that we promote effective change across the country and around the world. So we, as we move from a, a model of, of, of engineers as category enhancers to category creators, we know we need to change, but we also know that the way our institutions are set up actually thwarts the changes that we want to make. The Illinois Foundry for Innovation and Engineering Education was set up according to the principles just discussed to try to overcome these problems, and it's clear that organizational innovation will be a key in getting our institutions to change. We also need to consider the nature of engineering and how things have changed in order that we make principal change, and, and those matters will be discussed in others, in other videos, in, in the series of videos uh, from the Illinois Foundry for Innovation and Engineering Education.